below. So we have down below. Uh, yeah. That's that return to center down below. Something's going down. Adults in the reverse. So someone may be an adult, but they're acting immature. They're acting like a child. Something could be involving a child. Somebody could have been using children or a child. <clears throat> or just acting childish to bring you down. Language was invented so we could complain. So someone's complaining. I heard someone's complaining to their ancestors. <laughs> someone's snitching to the spirits. <laughs> oh, you gotta be joking. Someone's, someone's snitching to the spirits because you're grounded. They're trying to ground themselves. They're trying to bring you down below they could be praying to those deities below with the below here I i'm telling you okay <laughs> someone's calling on some deities from below if you know what i mean um and you're grounded okay um you are so grounded they're complaining because of how grounded you are why something isn't working so they did some sort of spell work they cast a spell they did like a hex or curse whatever they were doing okay playing around with those magic you know spells you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink in the reverse, so... <laughs> the spirits are like, what the fuck did you think was gonna happen? You can't tell me what to do. Um, someone, someone really thinks that they control... Okay, so whoever this is that's doing this shit... Okay, so when they call upon these deities, these spirits, <clears throat> whatever, their ancestors, whoever they're calling on here... They're calling on some shit from below, okay? On the darker side of things. They thought they were in control. They thought if they called upon these things, um, that they would just do their bidding, no questions asked. And they did this, and they, they were, they're an adult acting like a child, right? So when they did this, okay, um, they, they thought they were in control, and that they were going to force these spirits, whatever, to do their bidding, right? to make them take some sort of action to like attack you harass you whatever and so some shit is backfiring and so it's like okay they did all this they're upset because something didn't work out the way they thought it was going to they're not seeing the results so now they're going back to like file a complaint <laughs> i'd like to speak to the hr department please i mean that's <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious. I'd like to file a complaint. Mm. Someone could barely walk. It's like... Mm. They thought they were walking in... I don't know if they thought they were walking in the upright. Or that they thought that these deities or whatever they called upon was working with them. Um, they thought that they were going to do something. It's kind of fun to do the impossible. In the reverse, something was impossible. It's like, whatever path you're on, whatever path you're walking on, they they got you twisted. They have you all kinds of fucked up. If you obey all the rules, you'll miss all the fun. So someone broke some rules here. Okay, someone is breaking rules. Spiritual rules. Um, they're trying to go against natural rules. And by rules, I mean laws spiritual laws. Someone is really going hard trying to break some spiritual laws, karmic laws. Oh man, someone's in trouble. Someone's in big trouble spiritually. Um, we have intention and transform. Okay, so you know how this works. This person doesn't. They can't even walk. Okay, the, the walk is in the reverse. These people, this person they thought that these deities walked with them that they were on their side you know how intentions work and you know how transformations work you know how rebirth works you've gone through a rebirth your intentions are very painful for this person especially because they don't understand how this works it's going back to them it is going back really hard very painful uh, I'm, I'm getting a very painful ending for someone um, or a situation here. 
um, and the transform is in the upright. So you have beautiful things transforming for you, changing for you. Apparently, they didn't know that um, you respect, I don't want to get too much into this, but you're balanced. You respect, you know, as above, so below, okay? Um, you have connections on both sides of the coin here. And no, that doesn't mean you're evil. It means you understand how shit works. You have to have a level of respect. Um, you know, you, you have to respect the deities enough to let them do their thing. But you, you know better than to control them. You trust in your collaboration. You, you know what you're doing. You trust that you're doing the right thing because you're being guided by your ancestors. You've gone through a transformation here, okay? Your intention was to go through a rebirth, to ascend, to go through a transformation. That, that has occurred or it's happening. You trust in your collaboration with the spiritual side, the natural side. Um, whether And here's the thing. You don't have to read shit from a book. You don't have to watch TikTok videos. You don't have to um, get your information from other people. You have the wisdom of the ages. So it's built internally. So when you're being guided by your ancestors, if your ancestor says mix up this concoction, these herbs, um, or do this or do that, um, I don't want to call you a kitchen witch, but... Um, you know, it's, it's gone back from the days of old, okay? You know, back in the ancient times, you know, biblical times, whatever, people used specific herbs and spices and, and certain things for, you know, specific reasons. You don't have to go get, like, a grocery list or a recipe book, so to speak. <laughs> and I hate, I hate calling it witchcraft. I know people would just say everything's witchcraft, but it's whatever you do it's not, it's on the right side of things it's you're balanced um you know doing a return to sender whatever you're doing it's to protect yourself you don't get in trouble for protecting yourself in a spiritual realm that's what you are supposed to do otherwise you would be open to attacks especially whoa especially if you do any form of collaboration or not collaboration um when i when those drop this card moves so <clears throat> Collaborate is very important. Who you work with is very important. Um, your spiritual team is very important. And, um, yeah, you're on the right side of things. You, you're being guided by the right things. Um, the divine, you know. And here's the thing with what I was going to say before my cards kind of flew out of my hands. When you practice a form of divination, you can open up channels to other spirits, other deities, things that you may not want to come through. So you have to know how to protect yourself if you're going to mess with this stuff. It just comes with the territory, okay? That doesn't mean you're this, that, and the other. And it's no one's business what you're into unless you're causing harm to other people. And then, you know, whatever. But, anywho, somebody was messing with the wrong side of things here, okay? And uh, they're not happy about this because it's not working out the way they expected. They're not on the same path as you. They don't walk in the light like you do. Even if you have respect for both sides, um, you know, you have collaborations, you know, whatever it is you do. And you know what? I'm not going to go into that because everyone has a path. Everyone has to find a path, um, you know, to each their own no judgment but whatever this <laughs> whatever this person did they tried to do the impossible they placed barriers in their path they were doing some sort of financial spell work to create barriers um yeah so they're gonna be suffering financially for a long long time because somebody was placing barriers they were trying to cause financial imbalances for you <clears throat> But, um, you're on the right side of the Wheel of Fortune here, and you could be receiving some sort of quick communication, someone could be taking some sort of swift action, or you're going to be taking some sort of swift action that's going to put you on the right side of the Wheel of Fortune. You know, when we're faced with decisions, when the Wheel of Fortune comes up, um, that could mean you're coming to a crossroads, and your decision can take you up higher on the wheel, or let you fall. Um, this wheel's in the upright, so whatever swift action or communication, um, that's coming in quickly... 
Um, it's going to bring you on the right side of the wheel here. Someone could want to work with you. They trust you. This could be somebody that you trust. It doesn't have to be all spiritual um, or deities or whatever. This can be in the 3D here and the here and now. Um, but, you know, you get the gist, okay? Uh, but somebody was in the spirit realm doing some stupid shit. <clears throat> and that that's undeniable here. Um, there were some people who were meeting up, talking, gossiping, secrets being exposed, the moon card here, so you could be tapped into whatever secrets they're trying to hide, um, so you could be exposing some secrets within a group of people here, this little coven or whatever they're doing, you're coming up out of the cold, you have a treasure, you are a treasure, this could be a spiritual treasure, an actual treasure, whatever you see is valuable here, but you're coming up out of the cold because, you know, you're a generational curse breaker, like, you don't suffer from the trauma, I mean, yeah, you, you probably suffered, most people, well, I would have to say everyone who has reached the level of ascension that I'm talking about, you've suffered some trauma that you had to heal from, that's how you get to the level that you're at. You cannot get to a, a specific level or a certain level without the suffering, okay? Without the pain, without, you know, you know, there's a reason that people say conquering your demons, beating your demons, and there's a reason they say new level, new devil. You have to do the shadow work. It, it all it all connects it all goes together if you know you know you're seen as someone who is held in high honor here and someone lost a treasure um when they lost you okay because you are the real thing and they wanted you to lose your treasure lose your gifts and that's not happening for you somebody could have been trying to um steal your gifts from you spiritually if you have spiritual gifts you're tapped in they could have been trying to block your sight like if you have the gift of sight or dream interpretation, um, some sort of psychic abilities. You just know shit. You can get visions. You see signs, symbols, um, whatever it is, okay? Um, just be careful about opening up yourself to, you know, um, just be careful about those portals. All right, uh, that's all I'm going to say. But if you know what you're doing, you're protected. <clears throat> Once again, the moon cart. <laughs> Someone someone was trying to hide the fact doing it in secret thinking that you wouldn't notice but your spiritual team alerts you you get your messages you get your download i don't care if you have a platform or not it doesn't matter if you make money it doesn't matter if you read for the collective you could be a card reader you could read for yourself it doesn't matter you don't have to do things on a platform to be important especially in the spiritual realm um you just have to be careful about how you practice your divination, and I would urge you to make sure you're practicing a divination that you're being called to do. Not everyone is called to do a very specific divination. So, you know, when you're playing with this stuff, it's not a game. I, I want to make that clear. When I say not everyone should pick up a deck of cards, that doesn't mean that not everyone can't read a deck of cards, but when you do this, you are literally opening up the channels for spirits. And you have to be careful about who's giving you the messages. That's why you have to cleanse your decks, cleanse your space, do a lot of cleansing, cleanse yourself. Um, and there's a lot to it. <clears throat> there is, but there isn't. Okay. Um, I like the KISS system. Keep it simple, stupid. It doesn't have to be overly complicated. It can be simple, but you really have to be careful. Okay. And you have to know um, and trust that the spirits you're communicating with, if you communicate with spirits, um, you know, you have to know that they can be trusted and that, you know, they can trust you to give the message when you're supposed to give the message. Um, so yeah, but somebody, somebody didn't know all that. That's why I'm bringing all this up is because somebody didn't follow all these rules here. And this is somebody that was trying to do some shit to you and try to affect your finances, your money here. And Scorpio could be significant. You have an offer coming towards you, and someone rushed in with some lies. So, Knight of Swords, financial imbalance, secrets here. Um, so, somebody could have rushed in with some sort of lies, dishonesty to create these barriers. They could have petitioned a spirit or deity here, and when they did that, they lied to them. That's where this trust comes in, okay? The collaboration, it's a two-way street. You... Mm. I'm not going to repeat what I just said. I already said what I said. 
Um, I, and yeah. You have to trust who you're working with, what you're working with, and they have to trust you. Yeah, something's not moving for this person. They were trying to stop movement for you by doing something with your finances. And um, whoever this person is, they were doing, like, practitioner work. Okay? They do not have a positive outcome because you're the star. You're the star. Um, this person who's not moving, this chariot who tried to stop you from moving, they do not have a positive outcome. That's the challenge. The star. They were trying to do some sort of bullshit to stop you from having a positive outcome, but the star has divine protection, so it's not how it's going to go. That's just, it's not going to work out like that. They wanted you to experience heartbreak so bad that you would not be able to move forward, move on, to heal. You could be a healer. <clears throat> somebody didn't want you to have success in love. So somebody that rushed in with lies here is not moving forward. They cannot come towards you with an offer. Um, they're stuck because they used, they could have used love as a manipulation tool here to cause a financial imbalance for you. So they could be experiencing troubles in their own love life. And, you know, love is the highest form of, um, you know, of anything, like, of exchange. I, I want to say of exchange, okay? The greatest thing you could do for someone is to show them love, show them compassion, do things from a loving, caring heart. This person was anything but loving and caring and compassionate towards you. Um, they rushed in with lies. They, they're a liar. They were trying to stop you. They, they didn't want you to have a love offer. And you have the Knight of Cups. You have someone that wants to come towards you and possibly reveal a secret or tell you a secret. Maybe they know this person or know of this person or know a secret that they're hiding. Um, it can also be something significant regarding money with the Knight of Pentacles here. This is a challenge and heartbreak. So somebody wanted to cause you such heartbreak that you would not receive money or be able to make money or get some sort of money. Um, they sure as hell didn't want you to end up with somebody who was, um, you know, financially well off or stable. They wanted to hurt you and they wanted to hurt you bad. <laughs> when I say, um, when the heartbreak came out with the challenge, it was very heartbreaking and this person is evil and they're a jealous ass feminine energy or they're in their feminine energy with the queen of cups and the reverse this person doesn't know what they're doing they're doing something out of jealousy and spite because they want to be like the divine femme but they're not first of all they're not called to do whatever they're doing second of all they don't know what they're doing and they're not protected they do not have divine protection so they are the ones you know all the shit they sent out the barriers that they sent for you is going back to them. The lies that they told on you, they were projecting. Um, they're manifesting that for themselves, for their life. The stuck, stagnant, the chariot in the reverse. Now they can't move. Something's not moving. Their love life is suffering. They're not going to find true love. Um, they're going to end up hurt and pain and suffering as the wounded warrior. Because that's what they did to you. But you've already ascended. You know how to heal. You've already healed. They can't use your past traumas against you. That's how it works. When you ascend to that level, you've already beat those demons. And now they're your buddies. And don't twist my words. You know, if you know, you know. If you don't know, then comments are off anyway. So I don't really give a shit. But somebody has an addiction or obsession. You get a clean slate. They don't. They're addicted with getting your clean slate. Whatever path you chose or that you started on. They are so jealous and obsessed with trying to take that from you and doing it for themselves because they may not have known that about you. They may not have ever seen your spiritual side, but they're a coward. They're easily tempted. So this is more so greed. This is someone who would easily fall for the, for the low hanging fruit. So they can't go through an ascension. I mean, they, they can, like they can be tested to go through an ascension, but they'll fail because they always fall for the low hanging fruit. They don't do things with good intentions, you know, they're not beating their demons, they're acting like they're their friends, and then they think they can control them, and then they, they send them out to do their spell work, and, um, you know, these spirits and deities, they, they have a sense of humor, and it's not always things that we would find funny, 
um, they, they can actually be very devastating for humans, for people. Um, you know, someone was a gold digger, so they're not good with money. They're not good with finances. They're going to suffer because they're tempted. They're, they're motivated by money. That is their prime motivation for doing something. So they're very jealous and envious of those who actually do have the gift of some form of divination because they don't. <sighs> and whatever it is that you have, they wanted it. And so they could have been trying to like do some destiny swap bullshit with you, but you can't do that. You can't. You can't steal someone's treasure or gifts and take them as your own when they don't belong to you. There's an emperor who may be wanting to send you a message. You may be you know, receiving or sending a message to an emperor. A masculine energy here. Yeah, they wanted to cause heavy burdens for you, possibly to stop this communication from this masculine, from, ha you know, from coming towards you. Maybe they want to help you out of a bad situation. Um, you're very capable of pulling yourself out of a situation. But, you know, having a partner, you know, you know, it, it doesn't hurt. You know what I mean? If you want one, you don't have to have one. But something is being laid to rest here, and you have this Ace of Pentacles coming to you. This, this can be an inheritance, okay? An inheritance can be a form of spiritual inheritance. Um, you know, the Ace of Wands can also be like, you know, if, when that comes out, like that could be a spiritual gift. I know it didn't come out. I know this is the Ace of Pentacles. I see that. But this is a new job, new um, home, new relationship, and something is being laid to rest so that you can have this. And we had the Knight of Cups already come out. So we have somebody that wants to communicate something to you. And when I split the deck, that is a challenge here for someone. Is um, that this Emperor is going to send you a message. Or you're going to receive a message. Um, or you're going to reach out. Um, a, an Emperor could be expecting a message from you. But if you're a Divine Femme, you don't chase, you attract. I'm just reading the energy. I'm just, you know, that is what it is. You're in your life's calling. You know, and somebody wanted your, your treasure, your gifts. Like I just said, that is a challenge if somebody wanted what you had. They wanted to swap this around, and that's not what's going to happen. Two of swords and the reverse. Somebody didn't have... Um, divine protection they were blinded from the truth um they wanted to um if they were at a crossroads they had a decision to make and they made a bad one and it resulted in a positive outcome or not a positive outcome um, a negative outcome because of the decision they made at the crossroads you divine fam or masculine when you were at the crossroads you made the right decision that's why you're on the right side of the wheel of fortune that's why you have this ace of pentacles coming that's why people trust you. That's why people want to work with you. Um, that's why you've gone through a rebirth, transformation, your intentions. Intentions mean more than anything. Whether you're doing spiritual work, praying, meditating, no matter what you're doing, your intention is number one. It's not so much about the tools you use, the intention and protection. You have to trust and be um, able to trust what you're doing, what you're working with. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, you can't, you can't, oh man, yeah. these, these spirits, these deities, whatever, they can't trust a lion ass queen of swords, because they're a liar, you know, you, you, you think you can lie to the spirit, you think they don't see what's going on, you think you can lie to a demon, because whoever, whatever they petitioned, it came from below down 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 because they were trying to bring you down they were trying to send your ass straight to hell do not pass go do not collect 200 they wanted your ass burning in hell for eternity and whether you believe in it or not like they wanted to send your ass down below whatever the situation whatever you want to call it they wanted to send your ass down there they created illusions you still have this new star this new beginning they were trying to manifest your ace of pentacles that's the challenge that's the challenge they were trying to manifest and take what was owed to you what is coming to you what you're going to get 
it can be a literal inheritance it can also be money but i feel like with the treasure and the spirituality right off the bat here something ha something has to do with your spiritual gifts as well and someone's just a gold digger someone just wants money with the king of pentacles here in the reverse so um somebody is not wealthy they're not good with money they need money so they're trying they want your gifts so that they can find out how to make money um possibly how to rip people off oh so there was a third party situation so mm -mm -mm. there's a king of pentacles here who um enlisted the help of a third party and they rushed in with some sort of lie, so they could have hired a practitioner or something like that, or um, had someone helping them. With the Knight of Wands, you could be receiving some communication. <sighs> You're going to be receiving some sort of communication, but I'm getting like a reckless communication. Someone may be um, like drunk texting you, drunk dialing you. Some, It's... This King of Pentacles who did not have a positive outcome and involved a third party to do something to you. And it could have been cheating on you. They were being sneaky. They were being stealthy. You're moving on to calmer waters and they know this. They know you have this new start coming to you. And they're trying to um, block that from happening because they want it for themselves because they're broke, broke, busted, and disgusted. <clears throat> yeah, Emperor in the reverse here. They lost their financial security, their stability. They don't have, um, you know the means to support themselves or their family they want to take what you have so they're they could have lost their livelihood they could have lost the life savings um they could have ended up getting a divorce or something like that and um you know if their spouse caught them cheating like with you if they were trying to cheat with you or something like that uh, whatever the situation is the spell work backfired because they lied to somebody here They created an injustice to try to take your gifts, your talents. They tried to take your talents so that they could make money. With the Eight of Pentacles, they they literally tried to take your your talents. Your ability to make money, your spiritual talents. So, someone sitting in their emotions. Someone who is not held in high honor here. They're sitting in their emotions. They're you know, probably intoxicated <clears throat> because drunk dialing, drunk texting came out, whatever. So someone's under the influence of something here. This King of Pentacles, they're not held in high honor. They like those third-party situations. And um, they're thinking about you. And that's because you're going to be celebrating. And this came out again, the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. So they they could have lost their spiritual gifts. If they had spiritual gifts, they lost them. And you're celebrating. You have that Ace of Pentacles coming for you. You're going to be very happy. <laughs> happy, happy, joy, joy. <laughs> from my Ren and Stimpy. <laughs> I just heard happy, happy, joy, joy. Somebody didn't want you to have any options. They're out of options when it comes to trying to communicate with you. If they're trying to communicate because you're resting easy. Challenges, um, you know, they didn't date you. They were not caring and compassionate when they had the chance. And you're resting easy after a sorrowful period. So you've already healed. It's a time for rest for you. So you're not interested in someone's bullshit. And plus, you know, if you are into some form of divination, um, you pick up on things. You're being alerted by things and you know what they were doing to you. You know the spell work they were doing to you. Possibly downright to the very ingredients that they used. I mean, I'm just saying. How they did it, even maybe what time of day they were doing it. Yeah, something's moving forward for you, the chariot. So they could be drinking heavily knowing that you have this new beginning coming. You have money coming towards you. You could be moving here with the chariot. Something is moving. 
you know, there's a lot of horses. There's a lot of movement. There's something that's in motion. You could be feeling it energetically. A lot of people could be saying they feel down, tired, run down. You are the opposite. You are feeling very energized. You know something big is coming, but you don't know what it is yet. That's because you have this restful period coming, a long weighted rest, and a solid love offer. Not from this motherfucker. Not from this person. They blew their chance, okay? That's why they're drinking themselves silly or intoxicated or whatever they're, you know, whatever substances they're using. You're going to rest easily. You're, you're fine. And you could love on yourself. Even if this isn't a love offer from someone else, you have a solid love offer, but you trust yourself. That is the most important thing is you trust yourself, your intuition. You love yourself. You respect yourself. You have self-respect. This person doesn't have any self-respect. Mm, you know, split the deck right off the bat. Ten of Swords, Judgment. Something is permanently over a permanent ending because someone has... You've called Judgment. And it's deserved. You're a natural born leader. Someone put you in a third party situation. With somebody evil. Somebody evil here was a thief. Okay, so they were trying to steal something from you. They could have worked with a third party to do this. So a third party lost a house. So somebody chose a third party. Somebody lost a house. They could have kicked you out of a house. Um, so there's a king, there's a queen of wands here, um, and a past love connection, a loss of a house, and a third party. So there was a third party. You could have gotten kicked out because of a third party, or um, queen of wands. You could have kicked someone out. Because they were involved in a third party. Someone lost a house here. Because someone was not respectable. Someone was not held in high honor. And now somebody wants to come towards you. Uh, or you're just moving. I don't want to say they want to come towards you with the chariot. But something you're moving. So you could be moving away. So um, just, yeah, you could be traveling. Ah, oh, shit. This emperor in reverse may be traveling towards you. Be careful of that. They know you have this new beginning coming. They wanted to kick this third party out because they know you don't do third parties, whatever the situation is. Um, there's a third party who um, was partnered up with someone that you were involved with. And um, now someone, this emperor in reverse wants to come towards you, but they were a tyrant. So you could have a solid love offer and then you could have someone from the past who completely screwed you over by putting you in a third party coming towards you so you may be at a crossroads like i said you're going to have a decision to make when that wheel of fortune comes up so you're going to be at a crossroads but you're going to make the right one okay you're going to make the right decision <clears throat> that's why the wheel of fortune was in the upright you can be trusted to make the right decision because you're like snow white you're innocent you have this innocence about you uh, Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. So someone's not getting the money they expected to get. So that gold digger energy. Someone didn't get the money they were expecting to get. And to be fair, okay, to be fair, if you're the Queen of Wands here and you were involved with this greedy ass King of Pentacles energy, um, if you lived with them under the same roof and they had a third party, you could have ghosted their ass. You could have left them because of this third party, okay? So let's keep it let's keep it um, real. If you're in the upright here, the Queen of Wands, you're a natural born leader. You're not stupid. If you found out someone was dealing with a third party, you hightailed it out of there. No one had to kick you out of shit. You left willingly. So let's not get it twisted. You made a right decision. You made the right call because you knew of a betrayal. You knew someone was lying. Page of Swords, you knew someone was a liar and betrayed you. So you left their ass. For some of you. For some of you, maybe they wanted to kick you out for a third party. For some of you, you're like, I know what you're doing, you piece of shit. And you left on your own. As you should. You don't do third parties. You're not supposed to.
Someone's competing with you. They're not ta they're not getting that sweet life here. It could be the third party they were dealing with, or it could have been the person you were partnered up with. Um, but there's the Three of Pentacles, there's a gathering, there's a get-together. There's people talking about this competition, about who's competing with you, and about how their life turned to shit after what they did to you. So, you know, this person who's competing with you, there's a lot of people talking about this competition. <clears throat> and how you have money coming towards you, and how they're not tasting that sweet life, they're not getting those cups, you know, they're not getting their cheesecake, and you have money coming to you, and so someone is competing with you for your money or an inheritance or something like that so someone is trying to figure out how to come towards you but they're your competition so they could be talking to a third party about how to take this from you Jeez, this is nuts yeah you have money coming to you because balance has to be restored financial balance you're gifted you have a gift you're getting gifts you are the gift someone's a liar king of swords here um, you know, you've had the strength, courage, and perseverance to overcome something, so that's why you're getting this money, because you did the work. You didn't expect someone to just hand you a paycheck without doing the work. You know, you've worked your ass off probably your whole life to get to the level you're at. Whether you have anything to show for it or not, it doesn't mean you didn't work hard for it. You know how many times people lose everything and have to start rebuilding? You're the Hierophant, though. You're the true, you're the real one. You're the real one. Uh, yeah. Someone's not going to be enjoying that sweet life because they're going to be the ones that's juggling finances. Told you the spell work backfired. You get this Ace of Pentacles, you get this new start, this new beginning, possibly, a, you know, a nice little paycheck, an inheritance, whatever. This person lost everything. They're going to lose everything. They're not getting recognition. They're not getting an award, and they don't have a new beginning coming. So this clout-chasing-ass person who was co competing with you, they're not getting their Ace of Pentacles, or your Ace of Pentacles, and they're not getting your award, your recognition, your accolades. friend is involved here that came out sideways that's now in your future so there's a friend that's involved in something currently a friend could be trying to compete with you or somebody who portrays themselves to be your friend someone is a friend of me someone is not who they appear to be you need to cut them off there's someone here who's acting all friendly to your face, but they're doing shit behind your back. You need to cut this motherfucker off. Man or woman, it doesn't matter. It, it, you need to cut someone off. Because they're a gold digger. They slept with someone you don't know. They don't have divine protection. They're a dark witch or warlock. There's a law upholding judges that's significant here for some reason. And something happened, you know, in the last one to two weeks or something is going to be happening in the next one to two weeks. So somebody could have done some slick shit in the last couple weeks and they didn't have divine protection. This person was trying to copy you, mimic you, or whatever. Like I said, they opened up those channels, they were not protected, they tried to call on the wrong people, they thought they were their friend, they were not their friend, um, they're your buddies, you've already, you know, broke bread with these motherfuckers, and I mean that with the utmost respect. You've already been introduced to the people, the deities, whatever they sent your way, you've already had a proper introduction to these people, or these things, whatever. They or someone drives by your house in the reverse, so this person could have been driving by your house the last one to two weeks, trying to collect shit for their spell jars or whatever they're doing, burying shit in your yard. They've been doing something for the last six to nine months. Cord cutting was needed, so you could have already done this. So 
somebody could have been trying to reattach the cord that you cut for the last six to nine months as well. They're trying to reattach themselves to you. They could be doing some love spell shit too. They need to love themselves enough to heal. <clears throat> Yeah, don't burn your bridges in the reverse. They already burn their bridges, and they're playing with fire. They're not the stuff dreams are made out of, and better mousetrap. They got trapped in their own shit. Um, you know, all the stuff that they were trying to trap you up in with their little jars, spells, whatever they're doing, however they're doing it, and I'm not saying shit about it. I'm just saying when you use it with bad intentions, intention means everything, especially if you do it to someone who doesn't deserve it, you're opening up um, a bad situation. When you're calling on things that are not your friends, you're in trouble. They have to eat their words. The words that they wrote down on that piece of paper that they sent out to cause you harm. What they did was not a return to sender. What they did was some bad shit. It's different. When you're protecting yourself and you're doing you're returning someone's shit back to them. You have to protect yourself when people are sending you shit. You're not wrong for protecting yourself. You're wrong if you're sending this shit out to somebody who doesn't deserve it. When you're cursing and hexing people just because you don't like them, walk the fuck away. Walk away. You don't have to do stupid shit like this. Because first of all, whoever this is, they didn't know what they were doing. And they're going to have to eat the words. The words that they wrote down and put in a jar, they're going to have to eat that shit. While those deities are laughing their asses off. They did not know what the fuck they were doing. This was not a return to sender. You're, you may have done a return to sender. Um, whatever you did, it worked. Scorpio is significant. Penny saved as a penny earned. They thought they had an ace up their sleeve. All's fair in love and war if the shoe fits. This was not a fit. You know, it didn't match up. Their words, their actions, their intentions. They were greedy their own trauma, their own wounds. When you do spell work and shit, you better make sure you're on the up and up because if you're not healed, you know, whatever, all that shit's coming back to you. You're going to be free and easy, free as a bird. The law is getting involved. I don't know what the hell this person did, but they broke a law. Cracking on in the reverse. So somebody could be coming and doing some shit. Like I said, I'm getting the energy of someone coming and burying some shit in your yard in the nighttime or some crazy shit or picking up stuff from around your yard or something like that to put in a jar um, they could be taking pieces off your house, screws out of the house, rusty nails, whatever, I don't know. But they're, they're doing shit around your house. And I, for some of you, not everyone, just don't get scared, you know. Someone's being as stubborn as a mule because they reap what they sow. These people are thick as thieves. Someone was your fair weather friend. They were envious of you. They were not your friend. Leo in the reverse. Something is too hard. A tough road to hoe and a cancer. Okay, someone's not your friend. I, I don't, you're, you're going to have to use your intuition. If you have spiritual gifts and discernment, use your fucking discernment, please, 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 please. Actions speak louder than words. Read the energy, read the room, read the intentions. I know that they can be cloaking themselves. You're better than that. You know better. Um, you can, there's ways around that. And I don't know about it. I don't know. I don't, I don't do that shit. I don't know. I just, I just heard there's ways around it. Um, so figure it out. If you're into this stuff, you know what to do. I'm not an expert in this stuff. I'm just reading the energy. I'm just reading the cards. I'm just being told to say what I'm, you know, I'm just saying what I'm supposed to say here. Um, that's how the messages go. But <clears throat> I, just, I heard there's ways around it. So do it. Do what you're supposed to do. Whoever you are, you're experienced enough to know what you're supposed to be doing. I... I'm not going to claim to be an expert in all this stuff, because I'm not. Now, do I know how to protect myself? Fuck yes, I do. What the fuck would, <laughs> would I be doing this if I didn't? No. Somebody did create an injustice, okay? And you're never looking back. And karma's a bitch because of this, because you're working hard, you're determined to do the work. Sagittarius can be significant. Sharp as attack. Something is as dead as a doornail here. So we have sharp as attack. We have Sagittarius. So we have a 
Um, a Sagittarius who's working hard, a Capricorn who's sharp as a tack, and we have a Cancer who could be as dead as a doornail, or something is as dead as a doornail, concerning that person, because you're going with the flow, you're moving on to calmer waters. All right, person, face, or thing. If you stuck with me this long, P could be significant. F. Oh shit! Someone's got a, a profile on of on like, I don't know if plenty of fish is still around, but I heard plenty of fish, something like that, um, or pretty fish, petty fish. I don't know. Pretty fish. I don't know what pretty fish is. I know what plenty of fish is, or something like that. Um, I don't know what pretty fish means, but pretty fish could be significant. Someone could have pretty fish, maybe. I. P. 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 Someone's P. P. Could be significant. Someone's P. P. May be burning. Someone may need a pap. P. A. P. Pap smear. Yowzas. Yuck. D. So if they were trying to affect your sex life and shit, they better go get checked themselves out. <clears throat> That's gross, man. Alright, these two were stuck together. H and G. And I'll do one more. And W. So I have P F I A D G P H N W. I hope this helps. Have a good day.